This is the Broadlink RM Pro Universal Wi-Fi Remote. It's sold on Amazon by EQ UK and I'll put links to the product on Amazon in the description below. So the purpose of this unit is to actually allow you to control several items at once using this instead of the remote controls. It'll work on things like televisions and even things like air conditioning units, anything that operates by remote control. And it operates via an app on a tablet or mobile phone, it works on Apple or Android and it looks like it's going to be a very versatile piece of equipment. It arrives nicely packaged. Inside the box we've got a set of instructions, the universal Wi-Fi remote, a power supply and a cable. So because this unit is controlled via a tablet or a smartphone, we've got to install the app and on the instructions there's a QR code there. So I'm just going to scan that with the camera and there we go, that's taken it to the Broadlink e-control app. So I'll get that and we'll install it. So that's the app ready to go. There, so that's a unit plugged into the power supply and we've got a rapidly flashing blue light on the front there. The app is asking me to enter the Wi-Fi password for my home router. So I shall do that now. So I've entered the Wi-Fi password and it says it's configuring. I believe it is seen the Broadlink device. So I've selected the device and the first thing I'm going to try to set up is a TV. You've got different options there. So I'm going to select TV. So I think I have to maybe I have to press that first and then it says learn. So I'll click on that and then waiting for the button. So I'll press the on off button. We'll go for the mute button, then you press learn and press the mute button. Then we've got volume, so click on volume, learn. So I'll continue doing that with all the commands on the remote. So I've placed the device on my computer which is next to the TV. I've programmed the TV remote control into the app. Let's see what happens. So if I press the on and off button and then back on again. Fortunately, my television is a little bit slow. If I press the mute button, you can see it goes on to mute and I can put the volume up or down. Go into the menu. So basically, I've got full control of this TV. So now that I've programmed the TV in, I want to add a few more things to this device. The next thing I want to look at is my Xbox. The Xbox uses a radio signal whereas the TV uses an infrared signal. So this will be an example of the device working with both radio and with infrared. So if I'm on the home page and I want to add another remote to this system, if I click on the plus sign and then add remote, it gives me this menu, the same menu that we had at the beginning. Now if you look at the top there it says search cloud remote panel. So if I click on that, and you can try this for anything that you're trying to add to the system, and I put Xbox. So you can see there we've got a list, and I'm assuming that each one of these will control the Xbox One. So I'm going to go for the one at the top, which is there, and it says it's downloading and analysing the data. And then it's brought up this remote now. I'll hit the on button. So you can see from that, at the very least, I'll be able to turn my Xbox One on. If I go back into the control panel there, you'll see that the Xbox One's appeared next to the TV. I'll have to spend some time going through all these controls to see exactly what they do. Because obviously the Xbox doesn't have a volume control, but whoever's done this, right, has probably programmed different functions into these keys. So I'll have a play with that. So this is the next remote that I want to add, and it's for my Panasonic sound system, which sits underneath the TV. What I decided to do was to create my own, so so the, I've started doing this already, but the way I did it was I clicked on plus, add remote, and then on this menu I clicked on user defined. Then when I selected the icon itself, I selected sort in order. Now I don't know what sort in order and the other option is, but I'm not particularly worried about that. So I'm going to click on the plus, I'll go to icon, and then I'll go to the gallery, there we go, Bluetooth, we've actually got a Bluetooth, so I'm lucky, so I'll select Bluetooth and it's got Bluetooth underneath, now if you want to, if you didn't want to call it Bluetooth, you can click on that 
and edit it to say whatever you want so that's very handy but I'm going to leave it as it is so I'll click done and then save it adds it to the list and then you click on your new icon learn single learn again and then press a button there we go I'll just go through the entire remote and program all those buttons in so there you are you can see now that I've programmed all of those functions in so I've copied the remote across onto the tablet and if I go into the settings thing there and press template info it will allow me to rename it you're limited to the number of characters you've got so I'll just call it sound box done so to change this icon you've got to click on it to open it up click on the settings and then click on template info and then if you click on the arrow next to the icon it will allow you to actually take a picture with the camera on your phone or tablet or you can use an album picture and I've actually taken a photograph of the remote control so that is the one I'm going to use go back back and now you can see we've actually got that icon there so the last thing I'm going to try and do with this software is to generate a scene a scene is where you use the app to send commands to various different pieces of equipment in the room and get it to perform several different things at once so the scene that I want to try and generate is for the TV to come on the sound bar to come on and the Xbox to come on with just one press of the button that means that if I'm coming in my man cave to play on the Xbox I just press one button on my iPad and those three pieces of equipment will start up so let's have a go at doing that it's going to be a very simple one I'll hit the plus button we'll go to add scene so we'll press that key it's the TV and the first thing I want to do is turn the TV on so we'll press that button there and it says please input the name of the selected action like turn on TV which is exactly what we want to do so turn on TV okay now the other thing I'm going to do while we're here is to I'll rename this scene and I'm going to call it save that and then you'll see now that it's added that and you must remember that you need to swipe these across to get to it we'll edit it sorry by keeping our finger on it edit so the next thing we want to do is to plus sound box so sound box power turn on sound okay and then you can adjust the period in between each action and now I'm going to go from 0 0.5 of a second to one second okay and then last but not least we want to turn on the Xbox so I'll select Xbox one power on and then we'll call that okay so we'll save that now the last thing I'm going to do is add a photo to that I've actually already taken a photo and we'll see if it works and then choose and there we go so we'll save that oh, I'll just change that to one second as well one second okay so you can see this is really simple to do when you can add as many commands as you want my Xbox scene if I press that there's a TV on, there's a sound on, and there's the Xbox on. So that just means that if I want to come in and do some gaming, I just press the one button, which is that one scene, and then everything will start up. So the Broadlink RM Pro, smashing piece of equipment. I'm really impressed with it. I can see all sorts of uses for it. It could be very, very useful. I think it's more suited to houses where you've got a lot of electronic equipment certainly with remote controls or radio operated uh, it will work on all sorts of things the other thing that I didn't mention is that you can buy switches that plug into the wall and power lights and that type of thing that will run off this unit as well rather like uh, Hive and one or two other things that uh, are on the market at the moment so it's quite versatile I'm going to spend a lot of time after I finish this review messing about with it and making more scenes because I can see it making my life a lot easier. 
For the money, I think it's brilliant value. The app is free. It's a little bit convoluted, but it works. One thing that's worthy of notice, I'm pretty sure that if you get the Android app, you can control things away from the house and not go directly through your router. So I think, you know, you can log in when you're on holiday and turn your lights on or something like that. I'm not sure, but certainly you cannot or you do not appear to be able to do that with the iOS version of the app. So do I recommend it? Absolutely. I think it's a smashing piece of kit. I can see people having a lot of fun with this thing and it's saving a lot of time. You can also use it for security. You know, set your lights to come on and off at certain times and you can turn them on and off remotely, I believe, if you've got an Android system. So it's worthwhile considering for security aspects as well. Anyway, that's my review. I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching.